Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. I want to do a video on this Toronto and St. Louis rumor I've been hearing about. You know, it came on my feed this, this morning and it's one of those rumors that you read and you're kind of like, mm, that kind of makes some sense and it's not, it doesn't sound like it's total bullshit. So, um, I wanted to talk about this because when I heard the name Colton Perenko, I love what he adds with St. Louis, and I never, you know, when you think about what Toronto needs as far as on the back end, you knew they needed a big uh, physical right-handed defenseman, and this checks so many, so many boxes for that, and it also adds playoff experience, adds a Stanley Cup champion, it adds someone who likes to finish his checks, and who's got a booming shot from the point that could score and chip in offensively, so this makes sense for Toronto. Just the price tag going back the other way is a lot. It really is. You know, giving up, um, you know, let me talk about first what uh, Dean Blundell said. So according to Dean Blundell, Toronto radio analyst, the Leafs and Blues may be talking another trade. State some very valid sources are talking about a package that will make a splash in Toronto. According to his sources, it's Andreas Janssen, Timothy Lilgren, and the 15th overall pick for Colton Perenko. Now, I also read in other websites just to see if it's not just this site that was talking about it, because you never know what clickbait articles. And I saw a couple of websites talking about this, but other websites said that it's still in the works and there's there may be other pieces added. So I know both teams are looking to shed cap space, so I don't know what those other pieces can be. Um, but it's very interesting. It really is. You know, Toronto would be giving up a player that there is on the trade block in Janssen. Uh, Timothy Lilligren's name wasn't on it, but to add him, I could see Toronto trying to get, I mean, St. Louis trying to get another right-handed shot in their system that's relatively close, I would say, with Lilligren. And, um, you know, getting a first-round pick is always nice, especially 15th overall in a deep draft. Um, Dubas has already said that with that cap and in trade and getting that first-round pick, he may not draft with it. He may use it in a trade. Um, so that that piqued a lot of interest with a lot of people. And he, it's come out recently that there's four names that are on the trading block with Toronto. Janssen, Kerfoot, Engvall, and Anderson. So, um, you know, that's clearing a lot of cap space. You know, that was Dubas's mission going into this offseason. They have to add to the blue line. They have to add something to this team to help it go away from what their mindset is and to switch gears a bit. So, um, you know, Kapanen was the first one to fall. I thought he'd be one of the last ones to fall. I really thought Janssen would be one of the first ones or Kerfa to go. But, you know, they got a good return for uh, Kapanen. So um, this trade's very interesting. You know, Colton Perenko is $5.5 million for another two years. He's 27 years old, so he's, he's, uh, he's at a good age. 6'6", 230. Man, that's a big boy. Uh, slots perfectly right next to Morgan Riley. He can play heavy minutes. Plays nasty, likes to finish checks. Like I said before, he's got a booming shot from the point, and he could score. Um, his teammates love him. He's a good locker room guy. Again, Stanley Cup champion. That always is something that teams value. Uh, playoff experience as well. So it, it checks a lot of boxes with Toronto. So um, this is a very interesting trade. You know, going the other way, you have um, Janssen's three point four million and um, Timothy Lilgren's eight hundred sixty three thousand cap hit. So um, it's not saving a lot, and I think this is more on um, St. Louis to try to save money because they're trying to lock up Petrangelo long term. I know this trade would free up about two million off their books, so it would help them in their efforts to retain uh, Petrangelo instead of seeing him go via free agency. So we'll have to see what happens with this. I thought it was an interesting rumor to discuss. Um, do I think it may happen? I don't know, but it's definitely looking like something in the works that Toronto may be looking at Parenko. So there might they, there may be other moving parts to this, so we'll have to wait and see. But knowing that I'm doing a video on this, I'm sure as soon as I release it, <laughs> it'll be made official. So, you know, comment below what you think about this. Do you think it's just one of those other rumors that you're going to hear around this time of year? Do you think there's some validity behind this where do you think it may happen? Comment below, let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Have a great night. Take it easy.